What up, YouTube? Xavier Professor X back with another novel review, and this one's to that John Sanford, that long-anticipated mortal prey for me. And I'm giving this one a high yellow light because I like the energy here from the action, suspense, and delivery standpoint that Sanford showcases throughout the book in here. Though this may not be a phenomenal read, I must say, but I can definitely see this entry in the series to do numbers and such. As this is all intentional, which I will discuss later on in a bit. Where the basic concept here in Mortal Prey is no concept. It's like everything that Sanford is talking about throughout the story the killings and the body count that goes on and whatnot is the actual mortal prey that exists. But yet, that is such a broad statement that Sanford can portray about everything related to death and it all still be on topic. This novel, this novel, Mortal Prey, evidently proves and showcases through all the action-packed suspense as well as Claire Rinker's demeanor and persona that sometimes being an average read isn't always a bad thing. Like, look at reading Mortal Prey first off like watching Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie 2. See, in Sonic 2, the movie contained a lot of humor that came off a bit corny, I must say. But what made this particular movie dope is the fact that they took the humor, per se, and made it rather interesting. Much like in Mortal Prey, Sanford takes a lot of the elements that have no core concept, yet he ties it all together in this book. Also look at Mortal Prey... Pre Pardon me, guys. Also look at reading Mortal Prey as if you're playing the game Grand Theft Auto 4. See... In Grand Theft Auto 4, there's one core story mode that you can play to actually beat the game. But most people, when they hop into the game, they'll do a whole bunch of random stuff. They'll go rob banks for no reason. They'll go pick up prostitutes. They'll play online. They'll do whatever they want. But technically, they're still playing Grand Theft Auto. Even though they are not playing the exact story mode, they're still playing Grand Theft Auto the game. But let me start off with the positives of Mortal Prey. Mortal Prey is a heavily action-packed novel that showcases the hit woman Claire Rinker in the best way possible. You see, what I'm trying to say here is that her badass attitude and demeanor makes her just a little more likable and a little more believable. For And for those of you who don't know who Claire Rinker is, you need to rewind to a book in the series titled Certain Prey by John Sanford. Start there. Don't pick up Mortal Prey and try to start in the middle. And in addition to Claire Rinker's demeanor and persona, Sanford sets in store for readers with a nice surprise twist in the middle of the book involving the ambush of one of Davenport's closest partners. Now, I don't want to get into too far into detail of all that.
because I had spoiled the book for you. Even though this is a solid read with the positives that I mentioned, I do have three core issues with Mortal Prey. The first negative that I have in involves the vague writing that Sanford has in this book. Mortal Prey, in other words, is not the easiest prey book to read. Like I said, it has quite a bit of vague writing. And, and even though Sanford showcases action and dialogue well, the narration and description in Mortal Prey comes off a bit fuzzy. And on top of this, the author throws out a few run-on sentences which initiate the fuzziness of the story. The second negative that I have involves the relationships of Claire Rinker, the hit woman. The issue I have, to put it this way, lies with the relationships that she engages throughout the entire story. Even though she partakes in these relationships, these are thus unclear to the reader. As with certain prey, on the other hand, the relationships she partakes in that book are a whole, are much clearer and more relatable in comparison to this book. The last negative that I have involves the author failing to tie the story completely to Rinker's deceased boyfriend, who happens to be a Mexican drug lord. So here's what Mortal Prey is about. Mortal Prey involves the return of Claire Rinker, the revengeful hit woman who escaped and all, was almost killed by Deputy Chief Lucas Davenport. Oh, sorry. Correction. Mortal Prey involves the return of Claire Rinker, the revengeful hit woman who escaped and almost killed Deputy Chief Lucas Davenport. In certain prey, Rinker retires from her profession in Mortal Prey and now lives in Mexico. Davenport gets called to the scene where an unknown sniper kills Rinker's boyfriend and her unborn child. The beginning twist in the book is that Rinker discovers that she's the target and not her deceased boyfriend. So therefore, Rinker is set up to find who's responsible for this ambush that she was involved in. So, to recap, a quick recap, the positives are Mortal Prey is a heavily action-packed book along with Rinker's personal persona and demeanor. So what I'm trying to say is her persona and demeanor definitely shine throughout the majority of this book and along with the surprise twist that comes in the middle of it. The negatives of Mortal Prey is the vague writing the questionability of Rinker's relationships, which happen to be subpar in comparison, along with the failure to tie the story to her deceased boyfriend. Overall, everyone, I have to say Mortal Prey is a very solid read, my second best read of this year. Readers should definitely not sleep on the high-stakes action that takes place throughout this book. So, that's all I have for you today. That's my review of Mortal Prey by John Sanford. Let me know what you thought of the book down in the comment section below. Did you like it, love it, hate it? Let me know in the comment section below and we'll have a discussion. I'm Xavier Professor X, wishing you all a happy and safe new year. Be well. Have a great day. 
and I'll see you in the next book review. Class dismissed.